Set the scene on a broken man And kerosene and a little lamp And just enough light to make out a figure She got the thunder under her command She got the lightning in the palm of her hand And then now for the sun we can make it through the winter The growth in this marina is ridiculous. On starboard side, only barnacles. And on port side, next to the other boat, we have a lot of uh, growth and then barnacles on top. And actually, it's nice to have uh, growth because then you can just slide in all the way down like butter and it comes off like a carpet and then it drops down and all the fish go eat everything it's frenzy and on uh, starboard side where there's only barnacles you just have to get in there and just torture your hull it's horrible the prop is really bad to clean because because of the little little curves so you can't get in with the spatula i tried with the with the brush growth comes off but the barnacles they sit they sit well in there yeah the prop is not clean They are trying to breathe, but they cannot. Killing them? Yeah. Slowly. Making pictures of uh, marine life? Yeah. Wow. So that's what's growing on our hull, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's moving! Look, there's stuff coming out. So they're all looking for food, huh? Yeah, we kill them. You kill them? I don't, I don't feel comfortable scratching the hole. Because you see this coming out now. Yeah. Rainbow! It's a double rainbow, babe. Is it? Yeah, it's a double rainbow! <laughs> That's true. You can see it way better in the camera than in real yeah. life. You see that? Yeah. yeah it does. There's a double rainbow! The second one is not that clear, but there's a double rainbow. Mm -hmm. Something else just don't cut me down. Just when I was feeling well, feeling incomplete, feeling incomplete. Oh, what a sight to see! I think you were ruining me. Today is the day we are finally leaving. We have almost managed to leave, and we will definitely leave in an hour. It has been way too long since we've been in a marina. We tried to leave yesterday. Stuff went wrong, we decided not to go, we had thunderstorms, not really good wind despite those thunderstorms and all kinds of other stuff went wrong so we decided not to go. But today we are going. It is 7 right now, I'm going to take a quick shower, we're gonna put the last stuff on the boat, have a nice breakfast and then we cast the lines and sail down to Denia which is about 40 nautical miles so will take about eight to ten hours maybe a bit longer to, because the winds are not that fantastic but we're not in a hurry today we go last time filling up water yeah and then you're ready to go 
Then we have to be frugal again. Mm, that's it's true. Just wasting every day. Normal people. <laughs> you could have trained, you know? True. Well, I tried the last days to be very, very careful with one. Oh, I did an oil check, see? Oh. I don't know if I can catch it with one hand. Oh, yeah. What a dangerous game you're playing. Yeah. Bye bye. Enjoy the boat time. It'll be good. One just has to get accustomed. Alright, guys. When you see your eyes. Do you need anything from us? Oh, yeah, you could just flip it over once we have. When I, when I tell you, you could just take it off. Alright. Ready? Right, I'm loose it and you can just take it off. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Have a good day. Fair winds. Thanks. All the dying stars watching over all of us. Try not to blink and pray to God you're looking up. It's the only way for us to have a stitch in. Are you ready to leave Valencia? Yeah, and now. It's weird, huh? Yeah. We really wanted to leave, but now that we're leaving, it's always a bit sad. Yeah. It's nice people here. Good people. That was fun. Yeah. I think that was the most fun. Having people around that stay longer than two days. Yeah. It's been good. But we are going to go sailing. Like, it is mid-July. It's time. Yeah. It's really time. We've taken, uh, well, we took three weeks. We took three weeks to fix the whole boat and do everything we needed to. Um, and that's been enough. It's time to leave. Have a reef in it? No, right? Uh, no, it's not reef in it. After almost nine months of being tied up in the marina, doing boat jobs and waiting for this day to finally arrive, it is surreal to be out there again. Some days we wondered if we would still be able to sail or maybe had forgotten how to do it. But as soon as we head out, we fall back into our old rhythm and we work together like a well-oiled machine. No words are necessary. We know what the other one needs. So we just made the corner around, um, around the harbor of Valencia and next to that there's this big industrial port. The bay is super dirty, there's lines in the water, loads of plastic, driftwood, I really hope we'll be fine. <laughs> halfway now and the wind picked up a bit it's not too much we're not able to sail but we're motor sailing now the boat has a bit more stability generally it's just a bit more comfortable you can rev down to 2000 instead of 2400 so our little engine gets some rest and it's still six hours to go to Denia but at least I'm not deaf
surreality of it all is maybe that it feels like we never stopped and left Blue for such a long time. Five minutes after we hoisted the sails, all the time in between has been forgotten. Once you are out on the water, your world becomes very small and focused, and all that matters is here and now. It's crazy how easy it is to forget everything around you and be consumed by the moment itself. Sailing is the perfect excuse to leave the world behind for a while and simply enjoy the view and the movement of the boat slicing through the water like a knife through butter. It's strange to realize though that this is our life now. We said goodbye to our old life for good over winter and blue is all we got and she is ready to sail us anywhere we set her course to. She does need a good hull scrub though, because at this speed we might just take forever getting there. Arrived. We arrived after almost 12 hours of sailing, motoring, motor sailing, sailing. We had to tack quite a couple times here before we arrived. And it is a, it's quite a nice place. The water is not that great, but the town looks pretty cool. And we're behind a big mole, hoping that the swell will get a bit less. But for now, it's actually really all right, especially if you know how much how many waves we had out there. So. And now we're going to have a apple cider. And we're going to say cheers to our first real sale of the season. How about that? Hey. Cheers. Cheers, baby. It is swelly night. So now we re-anchored, we found a good sandy spot close to the breakwater, a bit too close for some people, it's fine. And now we decided to landline in Spain, I don't think if that's a thing, but Mandy's on her way to attach. So the landline's attached, um, the chain is in sand, the anchor's in sand, but uh, then we have a dead Posidonia patch. The chain raises from the seabed and just floats above the patch, so I'm sure we don't touch the Posidonia. You have a floating chain? We have a floating chain, yeah, Thanks. because of our nice landline over there. Well, I bet landlines are not allowed in Spain. <laughs> no, we've done it all the time. Yeah, that's true. We did that on the Balearics. Breakfast done. It's ready to clean the hull because we haven't done so and we lost probably one, one and a half knots of speed. I think and sometimes also, even two. We yeah, slow. we never hit more than 5.5 on 20 knots of wind. <laughs> 22 <laughs> knots of wind. So we do have to clean up and also we have to clean the prop for sure because we heard of uh, horror stories of props that have like weight on one side and then just start they get walked. bending they walked. they just stop bending the the shaft and then everybody's broken and the ship's sinking so we don't want that so we're gonna scrap those barnacles off and then we're safe again what i learned is boats are really sturdy but boats are also very fragile especially engines especially yeah so we're gonna take care of our prop now can you see the fish they're already circling the boat they know they're gonna get barnacle soup soon this year I'm going to be a lot more serious about the sun. We've used loads of sunscreen last year, but you know, I don't want to get old and you get wrinkles from the sunscreen. So I got myself a pretty cool bathing suit that is actually covering my arms. So when we go in the water like now, 
we go diving or snorkeling a bit and or cleaning the hull. I'm gonna put that on so I can't burn because especially the shoulders and the arms, they just burn so fast in water in your back, you know. I gotta take the swab out and go right through the prop. Oh cool. Cool. Not used to it anymore, huh? I'm not staying in the sun. Sure. So everybody got that. Who got that? Please write that in the comments. I did not. We just finished the first round of scraping the hull and it is a lot of work but with the tools that we have it works really good so it's very satisfying to do but it just I think it will take us at least today maybe even tomorrow if we don't decide to leave for Formentera today. We're gonna go get ready for round two to scrape and then at some point we're gonna have to go under the boat and uh, practice our breath holding. Alex has been doing very good cleaning the rudder and the prop I still uh, have to practice a little bit. I'm already there. I'm already there. It's just in my mind, but for now that is fine. Cause I'm already there I'm already there It may take some time But we'll leave this behind meters past our boat and it looks so easy it's pretty awesome Damn. as if it's nothing right What you just saw was less than a week ago, which means that we caught up 
to real life, or at least we showed you a video that was caught up to real life. We still have a couple of videos left from last season for you, which we will be making in the next coming weeks and we'll be going back and forth between now and ending last season. This week we decided to share a real-time update with you because we are excited to be back on the boat and it looks fantastic. I hope you saw all the improvements. This season is also going to be a bit different for us because we had a backup plan last year which meant an apartment and a job in the big city which we both quit. So now blue is all we have and we do this full-time. It's also going to be a bit of a different season because of you know what? It started late, some islands aren't really open yet, restrictions are in place and we don't really know where to go. Right now we are on Formentera in Spain. The Balearic Islands are beautiful and we were promised an empty season because no one was gonna go sail. Everyone's here. So everyone who asked what our plans are, we don't know. We have to make a plan today. If you enjoy the videos and want to keep them coming every Saturday, then there are many ways to support us. You can head over to our website, which Alex made and has some really cool, that Alex made where we have some nice merchandise and some cool photo prints. Or you can head over to our Patreon page if you are into supporting us long-term. That's all for this week. Hope you liked the video and see you next week. Okay, bye.